In this video, I'm gonna give you a review on my HP NVX360 15 inch laptop. You can also watch the unboxing video. The link appeared on the top right corner. This laptop has uh, Intel Core i7 quad core processor, 256GB of SSD, and 1TB uh, HDD, 16GB of RAM. DDR4 2400 SD RAM and it also has NVIDIA GeForce 4 GB DDR5 dedicated graphics card. The design of the laptop is pretty sleek, it's, uh, it's very thin, looks awesome. However, it's uh, quite heavy for me, although HP says it's only 2.14 kgs, maybe because of its metal body, it weighs more. It has all the necessary ports, which is obviously an excellent designing in this thin laptop. The keyboard is also pretty good and feels comfortable to work. It has backlit, which I like very much. When I take my laptop to bed and lights are off, it helps me much. I also like the touchpad, it's uh, quite smooth, but sometimes I feel like I have to press hard to make a click. The fingerprint reader is the addition to this uh, 2018 version of a NVX360, but I really don't like it. it. It always takes a few times to read my fingerprint, which is irritating sometimes. And the place of the fingerprint reader is also kind of weird, I don't know why HP put it that way. It has 4K display, which is outstanding, even though you can change the settings resolution to uh, 1080 you can really tell the difference but the drawback is not all the softwares are compatible with 4k so some of the software might be a little bit blurry when you're using it on 4k it also has a touch screen and the pen comes with the with the laptop so sometimes it's very good for school work taking notes especially However, the most irritating part was uh, its annoying reflexive glossy screen. I couldn't really work properly when I, I, I am surrounded by many lights, especially at school. So I put up an anti-reflexive screen protector. The problem solved. It has bang and all of the speaker, which is amazing. It's loud and low. Check out. Although this is not a gaming laptop, the hardware is pretty strong for some gaming as well. It performs really well. I was playing Need for Speed Payback and it performed very well. The battery life doesn't serve as much as HP claims, however it runs for almost 5 to 6 hours on medium brightness. This is a webcam test, uh, as you can see the webcam quality is not up to the mark, uh, although they say that it's a HD wide angle camera, but uh, I'm really not satisfied and I, I, I hoped that uh, the webcam would have been better than this one. Sometimes the fan makes really annoying sound. Especially when your battery is empty and you plug in for charging. As the fan runs, it, it keeps making the annoying sound even though you are not doing any heavy work. On average, I would say that this laptop is a great one for home purpose and I'm really enjoying it. Hope this video helps you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.